Hello everybody, welcome to Myths with PJ. Today's date, August 9, 2016, our word for discussion, obligation. In Exodus 1 8, then eventually a new king came to the throne of Egypt who felt no obligation to the descendants of Joseph. Deuteronomy 15.2, every creditor shall write paid in full on any promissory note he holds against a fellow Israelite, for the Lord has released everyone from his obligation. Ecclesiastes 8.8, 8, no one can hold back his spirit from departing. No one has the power to prevent his day of death, for there is no discharge from that obligation. And that dark battle certainly a man's wickedness is not going to help him then. Matthew 5, 33-37, again, You have heard that the ancients were told, You shall not make false vows, but shall fulfill your vows to the Lord. Be yes, be yes, and no, be no. Anything beyond these is evil. In Romans 13:7. Pay all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Here's what I'm getting in the Old Testament. Kings and rulers had the obligations of their ancestors. Many did evil according to God. The first king after Joseph didn't keep his obligation. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, our debt was paid in full. This was the obligation God kept and gave to his people as a free gift out of his love for all. Even Jesus Christ kept his obligation to his Father God. When we make a promise or vow, we have the obligation to complete it. We are required to be responsible for all of our debts and obligations. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.